Sa video na to, let's try to consider another case. Kasi itong 3 moment equation is advantageous if you are solving for the deflection at the free end kung meron kang overhang. Now ito yung gagawin mo. The first point you will consider is dito sa first support. And then yung second point mo is nandito sa second support. And then yung last point mo is nandito sa free end. And so let's try to compute for the deflection dito sa C. And so yung horizontal distance from point 1 patungo dito sa point 2 will be our L1. And then yung horizontal distance from point 2 to point 3, yan yung L2 natin. Next, yung H1 natin is non-existent. Now, bakit? Kasi yung point 1 natin, saka point 2, are along the same line. And so walang vertical distance from point 1 patungo sa point 2. And so for this figure, we only have H3, which is yung vertical distance from point 3 patungo sa point 2. So ito na yan. Now let's label our variables. Yung M1 natin is yung moment dito. Which is 0. Kasi nasa leftmost end yan. Yung L1 natin is itong 6 meters. Next, yung M2 natin is yung moment dito sa 2. Now we have two options para dyan. We can consider the right side or we can consider the left side. Now considering our figure, it's ideal to compute for the moment using the forces sa right side. Kasi isa lang yung force dito. But I'll just show you yung dalawang ways to compute for M2. First, let's consider from the left side. Yung moment dito sa point 2 will be 135 times yung moment arm na 6. Minus yung resultant dito multiplied by the moment arm. And so that will be 300kn multiplied by 3 meters. And so this will be our moment at point 2. Which is negative 90. And then this will be knm. Now, what's another way to compute for M2? You can consider the forces dito sa right side. Now, this will be ideal para you won't solve for the reactions na dito. Now, yung advantage dito is na solve na kasi natin to sa previous videos. And so, to avoid solving for the reactions, you can consider the right side. So, yung M2 from the right side will be 45 times 2 meters. However, since yung load natin is nasa right side ng reference point natin, our convention will change. Yung clockwise moment magiging negative. And so, since itong 45kn will cause a clockwise rotation about 0.2, then we will use negative. So that will be negative 45 times 2, which is still equal to negative 90kn.m. Next, yung M3 natin is yung moment dito sa 0.3. Now, that's located at the free end. And so, walang moment dyan. And then yung L2 natin is equal to 2 meters. Now sir, how about itong dalawang to? Let's isolate the two spans. Now again, we will treat each span as a simply supported beam. And then let's label this as A, and then ito, B. And let's also isolate this one. This will be RA, and then ito, RB. Now, our second span will still have the same labels. Ito will be A, and then this one will be B. And then meron tayong RA para dito, and then meron tayong RB para dito. Now, for L1, we need to make the moment diagram by parts about A. Kasi ito yung isosolve natin. However, alam na natin yung derived formula para dito. Yung 6A1 barred A1 over L1 for a beam with a distributed load over the whole span is equal to WL cubed over 4. And so that will be, yung W natin is 50. And then yung L natin is 6 meters. And then cube natin yan, divided by 4. And so this will be 2700. Next, for span 2, we will need to make the moment diagram by parts about B. And then let's take the area moment about that point. And so, notice, we don't have reactions dito. Because yung load natin is directly at B. And so yung magre-resist sa force is itong RB lang. And so this will be 45kn. Now, if you will take moments about A to solve for RB, you will just get 0 dito. Summation of moments about B set natin to 0, that will be 45 times 2 meters clockwise is equal to RB times 2 meters. Notice na these will cancel. And so yung RB natin will be equal to 45. And then if we sum up forces vertical, yung RA na makukuha natin is 0. And so if we will make the moment diagram by parts about dito sa B, we won't have any figure. Because yung force dito is 0. And so that means na yung 6A2 barred B2 over L2 is equal to 0. Now sir, how about our H1? We don't have an H1 dito. Because again, yung point 1 saka point 2 are along the same line. So walang vertical distance. 
So, yung H1 natin is 0. Now, sir, how about yung H3? Yung H3 is yung ano natin. That's equal to the deflection at the free end, or YC. And so, since we already have the values for this one, then we can solve for H3. Let's copy this one. Our M1 is 0. Our L1 is 6. Our M2 is negative 90. Our L1 is 6. Plus, our L2 is 2 meters. And then, our M3 is 0. Multiplied by L2 na 2 meters. Yung 6A1 barred A1 over L1 is itong value na to. And then, yung 6A2B2 over L2 is equal to 0. Equals 6EI multiplied by H1 over L1. Yung H1 natin is 0. And then, yung L1 natin is 6. Plus, H3 over L2 which is 2. And so now, we can solve for H3. And let's just disregard itong EI. And so now, let's use our calculators. Just exclude the expressions na merong 0. And so this will be 2 times negative 90 times 6 plus 2 plus 2700 equals 6. Disregard the EI and then ito magiging 0. And then yung H3 is yung ano natin. And so that will be X. And then over 2. Press shift solve. Makukuha na natin yung H3, which is 420. Again, meron tong KNM cube over EI na kadugtong. And so, this is the same dito. Again, advantageous yung 3-moment equation if you want to solve for the deflection dito sa overhanging beam. Just place 2 points dito sa supports, and then yung H3 mo will be your unknown.